Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. This is day two of the advert of cyber 2023. And this is going to be an interesting one for me. I'm not a data analyst. I don't know anything about data science. I'm really not a programmer either. So let's have some fun on this one. And I'm really nervous. So let's see how we do. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if there's any pointers during this walkthrough, let me know. I really appreciate it. Let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right, folks. So here we are on my desktop. <clears throat> so I loaded up the VM. So here we are on the story. Obviously, I don't want to bore you guys. I actually read through all of this, but I'll go through the learning objectives. I had to learn a few things today because this was all new territory for me. So we're going to get an introduction of what data science involves. I never did anything with data science, so this was pretty interesting. So let's actually come up here so we can see where um, we're going to get a gentle and, a, and we, they promised an introduction to Python. They did. It, it was pretty interesting. It was pretty fun and <clears throat> get to work with some popular uh, uh, Python libraries such as pandas and matsploitlib to crunch uh, to crunch data and then help make Honeybell establish an understanding of Antarctic crafts network. All right. So <clears throat> from my understanding with all this, there's a network here. Like if we open this little uh, CSV up, we have, <clears throat> let's make sure this is all, all the way to the right. So we have a uh, packet number, timestamp, source, destination, and protocol. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know, you're going to learn a little bit about data science one-on-one. -on -one. I'm sure you guys can read all this. And the rule and the description of data collection, data processing, data mining, and you know, so on and so forth. And then the most important thing here is because this is the advert of cyber, so it's cybersecurity, data science and cybersecurity. This is pretty interesting. When I saw this, I was like super intrigued and I knew this was way out of my wheelhouse, but <clears throat> sorry, let me get a drink. <clears throat> So, man, my throat. <clears throat> so, um, so data science and cybersecurity. So you can, um, you know, other uses of data science and cybersecurity include obviously SIMS. You know, you can do some data collections and correlation with large amounts of data. Data threat. I mean, uh, threat trend analysis. Excuse me, and so on and so forth. Right. So then we have introduction to Juniper Notebooks. I never used Juniper Notebooks in my life, so this was pretty intriguing. And cells act like an interpreter. So just like Hello World in Python, it'll print out Hello World. It was pretty cool. I tinkered with it, but obviously in this video, we're just going to get straight to the meat and potatoes, right? There's the practical. This is what I'm talking about, the Python 3 crash course. And if you come into your little... Uh, folder here when you when you load up your machine you can see the introduction to python and then you can open up this crash course and the crash here we go well, let's uh, close this out you can see the introduction to uh, the crash course and you can go read a read along and learn a you know a bunch of fun things and I, I i did that just before we started this uh video so i had to familiarize myself with it because this was all foreign to me so obviously we know what Python is and it's, you know, a high level programming language. We can do web development, game development, exploitation um, development, in cybersecurity, desktop application development, AI, and data science. All right, so let's just keep coming down. You can see the variables right here. You know, the label equals data. So it's pretty, it's pretty easy if, you know, for me it's a little, it was a little foreign. But I got through it, and uh, let's see when we actually have to do the test, right? <laughs> I think that's the, that's the main thing. So as you see, you can see the series and the data frames and so on and so forth. I just read through this walkthrough. You can see the walkthrough right here. It gives you a little cheat sheet. All right, so above we'll create a new variable DF for the data frame. So to store the data frame using the list, for an example, his name, his age, his country, and you can see a little bit of the example right here. And so on and so forth, right? Let's just get into the meat potatoes. So we have a capstone here. So let's go back to the 
the little folder here. We can go back up a directory, capstone right here. And then we have this, uh, this file, which is the network traffic. What is it called? Network traffic, yeah, that's CSV. So we have packet number, uh, timestamp, source, destination, and protocol. Okay, so once we open up the workbook, let's go ahead and close this out. We have our workbook right here. And I was tinkering with this, so I wanna go ahead and make sure I go ahead and uh, restart the kernel and clear any outputs for all the cells. Let's go ahead and make sure we're starting from a clean slate, right? I didn't answer anything yet because I don't know what I'm doing. So hopefully we can, uh, yeah, we, were, we already did the number one. So the number two here is how many packets were captured looking at the port, I mean, the packet number. So if we hit the hint, I know I'll be hinting a lot. So use the, um, you can use the count function. Remember the data frame that contains a packet capture is called DF. Okay. I think I get a gist. So let's go ahead and go to introduction. So number one here uses pandas to group and analyze the data in source destination and protocol. Apply these function as sum, average, and size to, des uh, to describe uh, and describe to this grouping. Okay, but let me go back up. Let me make sure I read this because I don't wanna do anything silly. Uh, this packet capture requires libraries imported uh, for you so pandas pd and then the packet capture the network okay so make sure you press shift plus enter on every cell with within this notebook okay if you modify the code in your cell you need to rerun okay cool deal that's good to know highlight that folks because i'm sure everyone will probably just hit enter and get an error like me okay so here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do shift enter on every cell. Bada bing, we got a little one. All right, so let's go ahead and do shift enter here. All right, so what this is doing, it's importing only five, right? Because the head five uh, count is five. So one, two, three, four, five. So packet number one, uh, timestamp, source, destination protocol. Okay, fair enough. All right, so now this is where the fun begins. Here you'll need to use panda count function on, okay, on the data frame. Remember it's DF, right? If I remember correctly. For an example, data frame dot count. Remember the data frame is in a notebook called DF not data frame. All right, so if, I, if I'm reading this correctly, I can just do DF dot C-O-U-N-T and then shift plus enter and oh, oh snap. So packet count, 100. I feel a little smart. This is pretty interesting. All right, so let's do, is it 100? I'm assuming. Let's see. Oh, snap. One for one. Let's see. Let's keep going. I don't want to get too cocky because I'll probably get stuck with my dumb ass. All right, so let's go ahead and do question three. Here, we, here you can perform a group by with, let's see, pandas size function on... The source and destination columns. Okay. Remember the frame is blah, blah, blah. Yep, I know that. The, click on the hint on if you if you get stuck. I'm not going to hit the hint here. Let's see if we can try to figure this out. For an example, data frame dot group by colon name size. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and what is the question? What is the IP sent? Well, what IP sent? the most amount of traffic during the packet capture. So what IP address? All right, so we know we need to get IP addresses, right? So uh, let's see, let's go, can we come up? So groupy, right? So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit, right? So let's do DF, right? And it's gonna be dot group by, hopefully this is, if I understand this correctly. So this, whoops. And then we come in here and then we can do, whoops, uh, that, that, all right. And then boom, boom. And then the column name, right? So what was in the question? I don't remember. What is the ID sent the most? So if it's sent, it's going to be, it says source and destination, right? Source and destination. So I'm saying source here. 
by source, right? And then, all right, so dot size, because that's what it, I'm just going by what it says there. All right. Like I said, this is all new to me, folks. So don't think I'm some genius, because I'm far from a genius. All right, so size. Let's just hit enter here. Let's see what, what I said. Don't it's shift enter. Okay, so what do we got here? One dot uh, ten dot ten. All right, so what is the question? What is this? the most? So if we look here, the most is going to be ten dot ten dot one dot fifteen. Let's see if I'm right. I don't know. Fifteen. Let's see. Nope. Wait, the most. Dot four. Oh my god. Why did I say 15? Maybe because I looked at 15. That's why, probably. Let's see if that was right. All right, cool. Oh, snap. What is that? Two for two? Damn. All right, so now the last question here. Oh, I went too far. All right, so let's come down here. All right, question number four. Uh, what was the what was the most frequent protocol? What was the most frequent protocol? And I'm not sure what that really means. What is the most frequent protocol? Let's. All right, you can use the same value. You can use the value of counts on the alpha on the appropriate column. Remember, we are counting how many values there are in the protocol com column. All right, so what if I um, copy this? Can I copy this? Let's do copy. And let's come down here and paste. All right, let's, can I just do control V? No. Paste. Whoa, what did I do? Holy smokes. All right, yeah, so right there. Okay. So... I'm trying to think what, let me, let me hit the hint because I do need a hint now. You can use the value count in the data from, remember the kind of uh, protocol you command value. Okay. So now we just need to do value counts. Okay. Column value. Okay. All right. I think we're, I think I'm onto something. All right. So dot dot sort underscore values right let's see oh my god me shift enter mm. oh wait 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 i'm sorry but we have to sort this the column here has to be protocols not sources that's my b that's my bad pro to call but oh, jesus oh snap all right so oh that's pretty cool so by values okay so dns so it's the most so the most 24 is icmp which is ping icmp please be right oh jesus holy moly we completed I don't even know how I did this, but this is definitely, I'll probably have to do this again to really have this, you know, stick in my brain. But obviously I just followed the methodology and just followed what I was learning in here. I did learn this day. I did learn a lot of things. So thank you so much, Try Hack Me, for providing this, this advert of Cyber 2023. And we did complete day two. So thank you. And I'll see you guys in day three.